Welcome to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DB DJ Rain. My guests today are two of the artists that are with the group Mississippi Cartel. Stay tuned and we'll come right back and find out just a little bit more about these guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DB, DJ Rain, and my guests today are Infinite Star and Smoke. Infinite, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Now, Smoke, how are you today? I'm doing good. Good. I know, you know, I know, I know a lot about you guys, but, you know, the public doesn't, so we're going to kind of get to know exactly who Infinite and Smoke are. Oh, that's um, good. Infinite, so tell me. Where, where are you from? I'm originally from Gulfport, Mississippi, but uh, I live in Atlanta. But it feels good to be, it feels good to be back in Jackson because mm -hmm. I actually stayed in Jackson probably like uh, six years when I first started doing music. Mm -hmm. So uh, it feels good to be back, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm just enjoying Well, we're glad to have you back because there's a lot of noise being made. Yeah, you, you know, you mm -hmm. know. We're doing a little something, I heard. <laughs> we're doing a little something. We're making a little noise. Uh, yeah. Um, so tell me, uh, congratulations on the Jackson Music Awards, too. Thank you, thank you. Thank um, you. Number one, best female rap artist. Right, right. Uh, two years in a row. Two years in a row. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm appreciative for you know everyone recognizing the hard work that Mississippi artists are putting in. Mm -hmm. um, right now, me and Smoke getting together, but you know everything we did set up for what we're doing now, basically. Right. So that allowed us to be able to do things. It, it's pretty much a domino effect, or it's like momentum. Mm -hmm. So basically everything that we did in the past individually helped us be able to do what we're doing now. And that's why everything's taken off so fast. And, you know, that's why, like you're saying, as far as everybody talking about us, that's why that exists. Mm -hmm. We put in a lot of work individually to make this thing happen. But, uh, now, when you talk about the domino effect, you know, everything that's happened in the past to bring you up to this point, um, tell me about, like, is there a lot of musical influence in your family? Uh, Music-wise, you know, honestly, the love for music uh, was just originally like hip hop. I, I was a huge fan of Outkast, so mm -hmm. it was really just my love for music. Period. You know, uh, I'm, I'm my family. Uh, I'm from Gulfport again. I'm just gonna mention that again. But uh, my family is a lot of blues and everything. So right. we, we play. You know, every time you have a card game, we have get-togethers, family reunions, and everything. We used to that, but that's common to us. Right. You know, to you know, it, it's, it's common. So as far as people doing music in my family. I didn't have a lot of people doing music or a lot of singers or anything. It's just the love for it mm -hmm. just created that, you know, that thing for me where mm -hmm. it gave me a dream and a passion to be able to do music and make me want to be able to be involved in it and make it. Right. I, I want to be able to, I think my biggest thing was I wanted to give people what I got when I heard good music. Right. I wanted to give that to somebody. So that right. meant that was something special to me. So that's, that's now, how I got into it. As far as mentionable mentors, like in the past, like mm -hmm. people that you looked up to, um, who would you say influenced you the most? The most, um, as far as uh, industry artists or just you know, like parental or, or, Any, or family, anybody. The, the the one that was the most influential, influential to you, I can't say that word, but the one that you know that 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 helped you along. I mean, you know, that pushed you the most. Me in your life. I, I would like. I, look, look. It, it, it's actually, it's, 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 so he's, he's trying to take credit for other right, people's right. work. But, <laughs> no, but <laughs> seriously, it, it, it's, it's two people, mm -hmm. and I, I'm blessed enough to be able to say this because a lot of people can't say this, mm -hmm. and and it, and it's the same thing with smoke. You know, that's my brother. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's like we have a mother that gets behind us mm -hmm. and allows us to do this. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. not not just. Just saying, oh, you're just doing something, baby. You're just doing something. You know, not just saying that, but really believes in what we're doing. Right. You know, knowing the words to our song, being behind us. It, it, and what we're doing, when, when it doesn't work at first, people look down on us because mm -hmm. it's, it's not successful. It doesn't start off being successful. Right. It takes 10 years for overnight success. Understand right. that. Yes. And so to have a mother be able to say, baby, I'm with you. Mm -hmm 
for these next 10 years for your overnight success. Mm -hmm. That's special. That's, that's yeah, what that's, it is. That's, a that's big. Thing yeah. it, it's big. And that's the motivation. I mean, because, you know, with the ups and downs of the industry, I mean, to have, you know, especially a mother like that, to have your back at home, I mean, it, it's. And, I, and to share it with my brother, I mean, I mean, you know, it's crazy to be able to, to share it with somebody you, you've been around and, and, and really just, we love the music like we love each other, like we love our family. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like. You know, I know we have fun with the music, you know, uh, you know, do rap, hip hop, club music, you know, we do it all, but it's to have fun and be able to give people something to look forward to. Right. When you have a hard day at work, it's something to look forward to. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. hard day at work, you turn on music, you feel better. Right. I mean, you have a heartbreak, you turn on music, you feel better. Mm -hmm. it, it, we, oh, I, we, remember, I remember those <laughs> days playing the old... The whole slow song, girl broke up with you. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's just, I mean, it, to be able to create that, mm -hmm. it means the most. So regardless of what the ups and downs of the industry is concerned as far as monetary-wise, finance-wise, it doesn't mean anything. You're leaving memories for someone, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, Smoke was quick to say he was one of the mentors. So I want to know yeah. exactly um, what, he, what, what have you done to, uh, to help infinite along in this process with the success well in our music we help each other by first and foremost being honest with each other mm -hmm. I mean if you can't be honest with the person you're working with it's not gonna be successful right. you have too many people in this business you do a song and the first thing they say oh that's hot you know because they're your friend Cause they we boss. Be honest we go, you're right, 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 right. Uh, we tell each other the truth if it's not up to par what we want we're gonna go back in and do it over right so the honesty that we have with each other it, it motivates us to want to be the best mm -hmm. and at the end of the day that's all we take is the best nice um now the, you were on a movie soundtrack right right uh actually um my former group that i was with we actually were flown in the, to detroit and we actually worked on a movie soundtrack uh envy the movie uh had it was you know uh, it was a while back but it had ray j and lisa ray and all that we did that great success with that it was a great opportunity that was the first time actually you get to we we had the opportunity to see how the industry works whether right. it was good or bad you know we got to see how that works so you know it was a great it was a great experience for me to be able to do that so. now one thing we're running a little short on time but one thing I do want to find out is you have an impressive number of independent units sold and tell tell everyone what that number is well uh, we probably rounding about twenty thousand out of the trunk. Now that's over. That now, now that's from the actual my whole entire career mm -hmm. as far as selling out the trunk of the car. But it's a lot of people that can't sell one. Right. But uh, so, someone that's like getting into the music industry, mm -hmm. that you know, that's that that's really how you start to get your music out there. Right. What what's your advice on like how to how to go about that process? Because I mean that I mean to to do it yourself. You know, to in independently out of the back, out of the back of your car. I mean, that really is an impressive number. I think, regardless of how good you think your music is, mm -hmm. until you get it in the people's hands, it's just your opinion. Mm -hmm. Until you change people's lives, it's just an opinion. So I felt like to be able to be heard and to be able to do what I wanted to do, I had to put it in people's hands. So that means uh, from 12 hours, you know, people work jobs and everything. Mm -hmm. They work a nine to five and everything. My nine to five and my twelve to twelve was selling CDs out of my car. Right. So I did that. That was my living. That's how I made a living. That's how I made a name for myself. I it wasn't job. It was everything came from CDs. Mm -hmm. I if I didn't sell a CD, I didn't eat. Period. Right. Point blank. So when I put myself in that situation, then I had to overcome. Right. Or I wasn't going to eat, or I wasn't going to be able to leave that gas station. I wasn't going to do anything. Mm -hmm. I had to sell the CDs. I lived on that. And that's what made it so successful. And that's why I have so many sold, because I had to. You got to I had mm -hmm. to eat. Right. I had to get a dollar. A, a dollar. I had to go to somebody dollar menu that day. Mm -hmm. So I had to sell a CD. Mm -hmm. But I was living my dream, and I loved to do it. So the greatest thing for me was... I enjoyed every moment of it. Nice. Well, we're running short on time, so we're going to come back um, and talk to Smoke a little bit, find out about him. Um, so we'll be, we'll, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back with Smoke.
For more information on today's guest and booking, email wearethecartel at gmail.com, facebook.com slash wearethecartel, twitter.com slash wearethecartel. Exposure TV is sponsored and produced by Peaches of On Location TV. Exposure TV, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18, Pad Network. Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DV, DJ Rain, and we're back with Infinite Star and Smoke. Now, Smoke, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. Now, we've been friends for a while now. Yeah. Um, met actually on an internet radio station. That's how Smoke and I know each other. Oh, cool, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I think that was your first, what, mixtape that you had put out yeah. when we met? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, go, we go way back. Yeah, okay. Um, but, you know, I know a lot about you, but the public really doesn't. Um, so tell tell everyone exactly, you know, how you came to be Smoke as an artist. Well, as an artist, I started off uh, young. I grew up in Chicago. I was born and raised up there. Uh, my grandmother was my main influence when it came to music. She mm -hmm. ran a record shop in Chicago. She used to bring in a lot of artists back then, like LL Cool J. She brought in Eazy. -E. All of those guys would come and promote their albums at her record shop. Mm -hmm. So I was a little kid then, and she would call and say, such and such coming. And I'd jump on the bus, go all the way across the city. Just go meet them. Just go meet them. Right. Right. Just go meet them. I'd go up and there and sit and listen to them, you know, talk, do the interviews, promote their stuff. You yeah. know, learn a lot from them. And she did that for me to help me out because I started off, I sit around and write poems. You know, I was trying to holler at all the girls and stuff mm. like that. So I write them a poem, get cards, write them in. I started writing them for guys around me, yeah. give it to them. I was selling, yeah. you know, hustle at a young age. Right. I write a poem, sell it to one of them, they'll put it in the card. So it went from doing poems to writing music. Mm. And I started doing talent shows and all that stuff. So it just blossomed, you know. People started hearing me and they was like, man, you need to do something with yourself. Yeah. So. And I and I know um, I know like originally, it was, his name was Smoke Dog. Right, yeah. right. And then there was a there was a there was you transfer to I am Smoke. Yeah. Uh, what was the what was the purpose of that change? Uh, do well, like, do you like that change? Well, it, it was really a conflict. It, it, it was it was a conflict really. You mm -hmm. know, so he had to really do it because. You know, you had you smoked dog. There's so many rappers out here. Right. It, it, he was the original smoke dog, but it was it was getting it was getting ridiculous. I so, got it. Yeah. So I am smoke is as original as it, it can get. Anybody calling themselves I am anything is biting off smoke. Right. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people use it now. If you go to Twitter or anything, it's so many I am's on there. Yeah. Now. But when I was smoke dog, it'd get confusing because the way I spelled it was D A W G. Right. And that was original for me. Mm -hmm. It was a different way to spell it. And a lot of people were smoke dog, and people couldn't find me when they researched to look for me. So I was just sitting down one day, and you know, I'm I'm deep in prayer. Like, my influence is God. Right. So anything I do, I put God first in my life, in my music, whatever I do. So if you, if you know anything about your Bible, when God is coming, He told the people to say, "I am." That was His name mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's gonna be the head of me, it's God. Mm -hmm. That's where I am. Smoke came from. Mm -hmm. God is leading me in my music. Nice. So nice. people took that and you know people saw it. I had an official website by that name, and people just start seeing it. Next thing I know, a lot of them start popping up. Mm -hmm. Trendsetter. 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 Yeah. All the time. All yeah. the time. We trendsetter. It's See? good though. They look up to us. Right. I'm, I'm gonna have to get y'all start wearing some t-shirts. My name on it, so everybody else will start doing. <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you'll be amazed at how many things we do <sighs> that we see other people do after us. Mm -hmm. And. When you first start doing this, it kind of bothers you yeah. that so many people copy off you, but we've grown so much in this music, we like it because it yeah. shows how many people are looking up to us. Right. That's what it shows, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter that you copy off what we're doing. We know we started it. Everybody else knows we started it, so it's not a big deal, you mm -hmm. know. We just it's actually a form of flattery. It, it, it is. Yes. It is. You know, it I mean, is. Cause right. Because if, if people are following what you do and, and implement it into their own, right. you know, marketing or music or whatever, I mean, right. that, you know, you you're influencing a lot of lives right, you know like right. like we talked earlier you know as far as like the information you know that we talk about um 
you know, you, you will influence someone out there. Right, yeah. right. You know? That's the way I look at it with my music because one time I was younger, I was deep into the church, my mother is too, and they was like, well, you need to get into the church. Well, I said, well, you have to understand, God made disciples in the street too. Mm -hmm. The person that listens to me might not listen to a preacher. Right. So the right. people that I touch heart come from my music or me doing talks with the kids or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They're listening to smoke. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who won't listen to a preacher. So my work is different than his. Right. One day, if God sees fit for me to be in a church, and I will. But as of right now, his work that he needs through me is out there in the streets. So. Now, is there is there a lot of like musical influence in your family? I mean, singers, artists. Well, everybody in my family think they can sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. sings. Everybody <laughs> sings and dance. Right. So, I mean, that's just a joyous thing. Like Infinite said earlier, you know we. Our whole family does like different things. We have family get-togethers. Mm -hmm. We play dominoes, cards, uh, everything. You, you, do you want some of this? Don't be laughing over there. You don't want none of this on them <laughs> yeah. bones. You hey, don't, don't want that. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on uh, me. I, 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 you. Yeah. Dream. I will tell you what. <laughs> Y'all made a mistake and slept on me before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, we got people that's in our family like my uncle Jeff. He's a DJ. So mm -hmm. like we'll be playing dominoes and card stuff. Jeff over there mixing stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You know, that's kids over that dance. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, it, it is like this is our lifestyle as far as that. But to be able to do what we decide to do, to go ahead and show the world what we're doing, that's that's how we've we've stepped out. You right. know, it's family first. You know, mm -hmm. basically. So that's what we're yeah, doing. A lot of so people we'll might see us tweet that it'd be F O E family over everything. Right. Not money over everything. We right. don't do so that. many people say money over everything, but if you notice. The people with the most money that are always bragging about money, those are the most miserable people in the world. Yeah. So if you don't put God and your family first, you will not be successful. FOE, family over everything. Now, <clears throat> this union between you, we're going to get into that um, in a little bit um, with the Mississippi Cartel. Uh, tell me how you guys came to be to work together. Well, we both had branched off because of things we were doing in our lives. Like, we both played b basketball in college and stuff like that. I was playing for a little semi-pro team I tried out for. Uh, we was doing different things, and we started doing music in separate places. We started off doing it together to help each other. We was, right. we was doing little songs together. Then as we moved away from each other, we just built a foundation around our name. Mm -hmm. Once we became known and everybody knew who we were, then we came back together mm -hmm. and joined the union as bringing the family ties back together. Mm -hmm. Because, because in all honesty, like, like I didn't know like there was that close of a connection between you two, mm -hmm. and so you know, like the we indeed came out. Right. Which congratulations with it being um, on the top five at eight on WJMI. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, you, well, you have to realize like so many people look for record deals and they want record deals and that's good. But both of us have dealt with labels and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. my previous label I was on, you know, you deal with people who are other artists and you get under them or you deal with people who really don't know the music business and they try to take you and mold you into who they want you to be. Right. They want you to do the music that they want you to do. The only way you can connect with your audience is being you. Mm -hmm. They have to see the real you. There's so many people that try to hide who they are. The biggest names are the people who know who they actually are. You can't put on fronts and act like you're somebody else. Right. I agree. So with us, the way we motivate each other, I'm allowed to do what I want to do now. In this company that we're in now, we're more close to the bosses. Mm -hmm. So the last say-so right. is, is one name over us, but we're going to have a big say-so in what we do. So I right. can do the type of music I want. And that's why the fans are more so liking us now, because mm -hmm. we're doing what we like to do. How's it, how is it to work with them? Smoke is... How, how, how is this relationship? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, and, and the funniest thing, we talk about this all the time. I mean, we argue for like eight hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> we, argue, we spend a day arguing. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not actually like arguing. We that, 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 like we actually do debates and, and, and we actually talk about things from beginning to end, inside out. Mm -hmm. And we, we agree on everything pretty much. So it's like we have different ways of saying things, but we sit there for eight hours saying the same thing. Right. Both of us are sitting there eight hours right. saying the exact same thing. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's crazy. It, it's a wonderful thing it, it, to actually just work with somebody that regardless of what you're saying, mm -hmm. it's a reflection of your thoughts and your heart. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. Right. That, you, you, can't, you can't construct that. Right. That was, that was something, that's, that's something that was meant to be. You can't stop 
mm -hmm. what has already been destined for us. Well, we're going to take a break, and we're, when we come back, we're going to talk about this Mississippi Cartel, this new single, Future Projects, and, uh, and let everybody know what you guys have going on. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Smoke and Infinite Star. For more information on today's guest and booking, email wearethecartel at gmail.com, facebook.com slash wearethecartel, twitter.com slash wearethecartel. Exposure TV, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18, Pad Network. Exposure TV is sponsored and produced by Peaches of On Location TV. Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DV DJ Rain, and my guest today, Infinite Star and Smoke. Now we changed sets a little bit, changed around because we wanted to get some focus on Infinite's tattoo. Infinite, tell us a little bit about that tattoo and the meaning behind it. Okay, uh, I have uh, Japanese koi fish, as you can see, um, mm -hmm. with water. I have it tattooed on the side of my head, so um, it represents good luck and great fortune, and also uh, as far as what we're doing as far you, you need um, you always need aspiration and instant you're doing what you're doing but it actually represents no matter what struggle you go through you have to keep swimming you have to keep going no matter what keeps you know trying to knock you down so that's what it represents you know good luck great fortune and it represents our struggle regardless of what we do we keep on going at least you put some thought behind that you know a lot of people get tattooed ah, I got tattooed but I mean that you know tattoos with meaning I mean that that's 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 a really good thing Thank to you. have on you. Thank you. Um, now let's get into talking about Mississippi Cartel. Mississippi Cartel, a hot new thing. Yeah, Mississippi uh. Cartel. So, uh, like, tell me about like, you know, I, I know very limited about Mississippi Cartel. Tell me how it came to be. You know what's behind it, um, all that good stuff. Well, the main thing about Mississippi Cartel, the reason we put Mississippi at the front because that's what we represent. It's so many artists around Mississippi that don't understand what it takes to make it. You know, we got the crab in the barrel mentality for so many years. Everybody wants to be the first. You're not going to be the first. It's our first already came and gone. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bring an image to Mississippi where we work together. Mm -hmm. So Mississippi Cartel is a group of artists who have came together and actually working for one goal, and that's to put Mississippi on the map. Right. Help each other make it. It's not about one person. It's not about two people. It's about the whole group. Mm -hmm. You know, if whoever's project, like the reason everybody see us and it looks as us as being Mississippi Cartel is because our project is the one we're working on right, right. now. So then when the next person's project is going to drop, that's who you're going to see. We push whatever project is going on. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, so how many members make up Mississippi Cartel? It's mm. actually a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we just want to shout out, you know, d Lou, Twin, and all the rest of the Cartel family who, right. who's not here right mm -hmm. now. They, they are a great part of what we're doing. Right. Because when our single dropped, they was pushing our single like it was their own. Right, yep. yeah. Now, okay, with so many people in there and in, in within Mississippi Cartel, like how long... How long has this, has this been formed? It was actually something that was, regardless if it's music we're doing together or not, mm -hmm. we're actually a whole lot of people that we've been family before anything. Right. So, you know, it's built on something that has nothing to do with music. It's just that's what we all love. Right. You understand? So that's how it is, actually. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, because um, yeah, you got certain people like, D. Lou, I mentioned a few minutes ago, we, we've known each other since high school. Mm -hmm. He ended up, he was singing in the choir. Next thing you know, he was singing with the uh, composition. They was on tour and stuff like that. You got people like Tuto, who DJs in the corporate scene. Mm -hmm. You got uh, uh, people like Twin, who he does a lot of writing and stuff like that. You know, different people do different things. So we all was doing something. Right. And we all have worked together before. So we just all came together and started making it happen. Mm -hmm. Now this single that's been making some noise on the radio. We I indeed. get the text messages in, please, <laughs> talking about <laughs> vote for we and D. Yeah. I try to when I can. Right. Sometimes I'm out of pocket or not really around. But uh, tell me the uh, the meaning behind the song, like where it came from and, and what the song is about. 
Well, it's, it's just basically about uh, everybody, you know, they talk about how much money they got. They in the club and VIP. Every song comes out, you're in the VIP, mm -hmm. you chilling. So you separating yourself away from your fans. Mm -hmm. Our song is saying that we're in the middle of the club with the fans. Mm -hmm. When we come in, we come to party. Right. You know, once we walk in the door, you better be ready. It's, it's <laughs> gonna be a party. We're gonna have the time of your life. <laughs> yeah. And and the song just came from the track. I mean, we we go off of a track. We write as mm -hmm. soon as we hear the track. Mm -hmm. When the beat start playing, whatever we feel, mm -hmm. you know, and that's it. Just came about like that. So as far as the the track goes, um, you want to give any credit like to the producer, the uh, be track? juicy, be juicy, be juicy made mm -hmm. track. Okay, is he? And he's from here. Yeah, he's from Jackson. Uh, matter of fact, he's a part of what we do because Juicy, me and him, you sit down all the time. He makes track, let me listen to him. And one day we was just having a listening session. We were just going through a lot of his tracks, and that track just stood out. And I said, that's the one. Now let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. All right. Now, are you the only female with this big group of guys? I mean, is it like? A, are they like a bunch of big brothers to you? Well, yeah. As far as rap is concerned, you know, we still have the singers and everything, which mm -hmm. we'll, you know, we'll expose those when, when, when they finish going through artist development and everything. We'll have those ready for you, and I'll be able to let so, you know. So, so, so you guys have like an artist development right. thing, really? Right, right. We go. We, it's the Smart. whole nine yards. Right, oh. right. So we we make sure everyone's ready. You can't. Sometimes I know. Sometimes you might say I'm ready, but you know, image wise, you have to get your image together. You have to get your music together. You're writing, you're dancing. It just depends on the type of artist you are, what genre you're in. Right. You know, you might have to get a band together. We have to make sure we have everything in order because, again, you know, we're perfectionists. Mm -hmm. So we make sure it's right before we put it out. So right. make sure we have, you know, photo shoots, graphics, and everything taken care of. But uh, as far as rap, rap-wise, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. You know, uh, I actually. When, when I think of female rap artists, I know you're saying female rap, but I actually feel like I compete with most guys mm -hmm. because of the type of, type of artist I am. I self-write all my music. A anything you hear my voice on, I'm writing it, I've said it. Mm -hmm. you know, if I've said it, I wrote it. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm just a, a hard-working female artist. I don't want to be put in that box as female rap artist. Right. I'm going for your throat. I got it. <laughs> guys, okay. female, I'm going for you. So you might, you, 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 you better be ready. <laughs> I got you. Now, um, we we are gonna we are running a little short on time, so okay. I want to make sure that um, the thing with the Mississippi Cartel that you get out everything that you need to. So um, give everyone an overview as far as like the organization, like your future plans, uh, contact information, okay. um, you know anything that you that you need to get out about the cartel. Well, basically, we we all are working on different projects. Mm -hmm. We have a mixtape called Rock and Waffles. We're working on the album. Mm -hmm. We also had a Ciroc and Waffle show that we do that drops every Wednesday. Uh, we also do a lot of community work. We working with the charities and stuff. We did the Toys for Tots, work with JMI with that. We've done uh, work with Dr. O'Connor and DJ Fingerprint with Rhyme and Reasons. Mm -hmm. I've done some shows with them. So we're doing different things. You know, this is, it's not just about the music. It's about everything that surrounds the music. So right. We're doing, we're doing a lot of different things right now. Nice. And we, I, I, I wanted to make sure, you know, um, also that everybody understood we're very grateful and we're thankful for all of the the supporters that's been out there you know because that's that's why we we were at like you know top five at eight we're number one or you know for, we can be on five weeks straight oh five, five weeks straight right we can do it for five no, weeks straight no right. other independent artist has ever done it mm. Mm. Okay. so that's that's that was a good thing yeah and we want to say appreciate everybody who voted you can follow us on twitter at we are the cartel uh, our Facebook page is Mississippi Cartel. Mm -hmm. Anybody who wants to book us, you can hit up our management at wearethecartel at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, any any contact information that you want to give out smoke for yourself? Uh, basically, that's it. They they can hit up the We Are the Cartel page if if you Google Mississippi Cartel or mm -hmm. We Are the Cartel, it'll it'll pull everything up you need. Mm -hmm. So you so you are, you make all right so. We're running out of time, that y'all me. So I want to tell you that I really, really appreciate both of you coming on. Thank yeah. you. Uh, I learned a lot. I hope the public has too. And I look forward to hearing more from you guys. Uh, hopefully we can bring you back on the show and uh, once your new project is complete and uh, see how it does. Thank, Thank you, you for tuning in to Exposure TV.